Right, today we're going to be making the uh, end caps, which are these two for the uh, cylinder. It's the top, which is that one, and the bottom one, which is that one, which has the uh, little brass in there for the um, the piston to slide in and out of. Anyway, um, got a couple of bits of 7075 T6. Um, should be more than big enough to turn these so let's get over to the lathe um, haven't been on the lathe for a while so um, yeah be nice alright first one we're going to do is this one because that will cut a lot of this aluminium out and then the other one this one the flatter one I'll do last and um, that'll save me trying to part off this big um, one so anyway th this is the first one Initial dimensions are 52 millimeters. I think we're about 60 something to start off. Yeah, 62 to start. Right, let's get it faced off. I need an 8mm hole through the centre and I also need a hole for an M12 tap. Thank <laughs> you. 
Right, I need this little flange here to be three and a half millimeters and it's got a one millimeter little rise on it. Three and a half millimeters and then it's got this other one millimeter. So I'm going to come in that far with the parting tool and then I'm going to move over, rough that out and then cut it off with the bandsaw and finish it off on the mill. in the bandsaw now, cut that off and then I can pop it back in just to face the other side. Right, we've put that back in now. I'm just going to turn that down to size. Now I just need one millimetre left on there. got the uh, M12 tap to do in there um, the rest of it is all uh, machined up and finished and uh, obviously I've got the holes to do this goes in there and the cylinder sits on top and the cylinder sits on top like that. That's how that one goes. Right, this is the one we're going to do now. Fairly straightforward this one. Um, it's the uh, top cap. Whereas the one we, we just done is this cap that goes there. It's the bottom cap of the cylinder and it's the top cap of the uh, trunk guide. of this material
which is that one, which fits on there like that. That's shown quite a bit more of a chamfer actually. I'll whether to put it back in and put a slightly bigger chamfer on. Right, I've got it uh, set up in the vise. Um, it's all a bit um, loose really. But it's okay, it's sitting down. I've, I've only got to drill the holes and as long as it doesn't move laterally on the uh, x-axis, which I don't think it will. Um, <coughs> in fact, put a couple of little stops on just to make sure it doesn't right okay it's got that in a good position now I've positioned the parallels so that they miss the screw pattern or the hole pattern I should say um, right center find this um, I won't bother filming that, that's fairly straightforward. And then I'll uh, set up the whole pattern. Now, now I've got centred in the Y axis, I can now come out on the X axis and know I'll be on the extreme point or on the tangent point of the circle. X and Y axis set up to zero now, so now I can set up the DRO. Right, I'm going to set up my hole pattern now, it's a six hole pattern. So what I'm going to do for that is press the hole button. I want the PCD on the X and Y axis, you can change that but that's uh, another video. So now Center, enter, diameter is 43, diameter is 43, enter. This is because I've set this up before. The number of holes is 6, enter, and the start angle is 0, 0. Now the start angle for 0, 0 goes left on the x axis to its first starting point from the center. So this, that's why the start angle is zero. And then if you press enter, the end angle is 300 uh, because we've got six holes, 360. The last hole is the fifth hole, so five times six, 300. Enter, and then this now gives me the position for hole number one, which will be 21 and a half millimeters left on the x-axis. Now I'm not gonna spot drill this. Um, I very rarely spot drill in this is absolute precision, precision, but this this will be fine for the there are only clearance holes. that one done. I don't know if you'd be able to see that, can you? Alright, put the second one in. Oops. <coughs>
at the two caps. Where they go is um, it's the trunk guide. That one goes on there, like that. The cylinder then goes on there, like that. And that way round. And then this one. Oops, wrong way up. Goes on top of the cylinder. Like that. That's all folks. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. I would also appreciate it if you would click the subscribe button because that will uh, enable me to grow the channel so that I can keep making these videos. Please leave a comment or a question. I do read all of the comments and reply to as many as I can. Thanks for watching.